Good evening. Welcome to My Bad Path, your dynamic and engaging educational software solution. I'm Zay Wang. I'm Stephen Hong. And I'm Sean Mestri. And we welcome you to the following presentation of My Bad Path. Many high school students do not have the proper outlet to compile their achievements and activities in an aesthetic, easy-to-use manner. With My Backpack, we hope to help students understand their strengths and interests and connect students with similar interests and opportunities. My Backpack has five primary features, allowing students to create an account using basic information, allowing students to view other students' portfolios and report bugs within the app to developers, allowing students to view and add classes, clubs, volunteer, work class experience, test scores, and more. Allowing students to utilize a personalized chatbot powered by Google's Gemini API to answer questions about the interface instantly and accurately. And finally, giving the option to export a resume, compiling a student's profile and sharing it on social media apps like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Here's the icon for our app. Just like a backpack can hold various items, our app caters to a diverse student interests and achievements, encompassing academic, extracurricular, and more. We use three tools, Android Studio, Krita, and Figma. To develop the app, we went through an extensive planning process that included brainstorming, conducting surveys at our high school to determine preferred features, setting deadlines using a shared Google Calendar, and utilizing Figma to create a comprehensive wireframe. As you can see on our planning document, we took time to brainstorm what we wanted each page to provide for the user and a potential layout for what the page would look like. We also created a wireframe for the page for each page before we started programming to outline what we wanted the interface to look like and to visualize how different sections would be of the app. After we created a readme file with our source code, user installation and usage instructions and a clear copyright statement. As outlined in the features section, our app has cross-platform compatibility across all Android devices, leveraging Android Studio as our integrated development environment of choice. In the asset package section, you'll find a readily scannable QR code that eliminates the need for instructions. This code will trigger the download and installation of a compressed archive zip file containing your app. We also included the same instructions and a complete app file in our GitHub repository right here. And if you go back to the doc, you can see in our instru instructions to run, we addressed how our application was able to address the prompt by being able to give students a way to create a portfolio of their high school experiences and we also included external resources used. Finally, we created extensive documentation. And as you can see, we clearly outlined how to run the app, our planning process, and explanations of every page as a comprehensive guide. We opted for Java as our backend and XML for our front-end languages due to its extensive ecosystem of libraries and frameworks. Leveraging Java's object-oriented paradigm enabled significant code reusability, streamlining and exoditing the development process. As you can see, our codebase exhibits exceptional quality and adheres to industry best practices. It's well documented with clear comments, ensuring maintainability and understanding for developers. Furthermore, the code adheres to consistent coding style and formatting conventions, promoting readability and reduce potential for errors. And now to our interface. When the user opens the app, they will see a login page and they can first create a new account by entering their email, name, password, grade, and school name. And after you create the account, you can si sign in using your username and password. First, you can click View Other Students, where you can see other student profiles. So if you click View Profile, you can see their complete resume. And after, you can go back out and you can click on the classes, where you can create a new class with the name, the grade that you did it, or the grade that you got, and the year you took the class. And then after, you can go into Volunteer Experience, where you will enter the date you started and ended, along with the organization name, the description, and the hours that you, that you received. Next, students can add clubs that they did while they were in high school by adding the start and end date of the club, and then adding their, the name of the club, the position that they held, and what they did in the position. So here we have key club vice president, and then you can see it there. Next, students can add extracurricular activities, and this, would be similar in that they can add the start and end date, the name, the position they held, and a description of what they did. Here, it is robotics team captain. 
Next, we can go to work experience where students can add past jobs or internships that they completed. And once again, they can choose the date that they did this job or internship, the name, the position, and then part-time or full-time and paid or unpaid. After they can add test scores from past tests that they have taken. So for instance, if a student took AP Chinese, they can select the date they took the test and the score they received. Finally, students can add awards by selecting the name, the date that they received the award, the level of the award, such as regional or national, and whether it's individual or team. And after, if they need help still with the interface of the app, we have a personalized chatbot powered by Gemini API. So if the user enters a question, like what information is required, we can see that they respond accurately and quickly. After, students can view their profile where they can export a PDF of their resume. And if we go to Files app, we can see that their resume has been downloaded to their phone. If we go back to the app, we can also see that you can share it to social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So here we can share it to our Instagram story. And when you click that, you will see that it takes you directly to Instagram where you can post it on your story. And once it loads, we can see that it has appeared. If we go back to the app, we can go to reporting bugs to the, to the developers, which would be us. So if a user enters a bug, it will prompt them with an email that they can send directly to us, the developers. And as you can see, if we go over to our email, it will load. Finally, students can view their account. So they can see their email, full name, grade, username, and school. And we have our copyright information right here where you can see the copyrights rules that they will get when they download the app and also our copyright statement for using digital art within our app. Thank you.